Hey guys, it's Lynn here. Welcome back to another Skyrim Console Mod video where we look at six of the best and newest mods out for PS4 and Xbox One every day. First off, if you haven't done so yet, check out the first video from today for another six mods to look through. Well, we don't have to waste any time and just jump into our first mod. First up, as we always do, we start with one of the smaller mods. First is Underwater Grass Deleted. This is a simple mod that removes the grass and rock from the underwater in the game in an attempt to improve your frames per second. The grass and rocks underwater mostly go unnoticed anyway, so not really a big deal to get rid of this for most people. I'm sure lots of you would much rather have better performance. Well, this mod will help you with that. It's not a big change, but a useful one especially for you guys that have tons and tons of mods and most likely have a laggy game. Our next mod is an add-on to the Unique Magic Sabers mod that adds in loads of lightsabers for you to craft in Skyrim. Basically all this mod does is give lightsabers to loads of NPCs in game so that they use them in a fight. In terms of damage, the lightsabers are still pretty much the same as the ones you can craft, so they do a lot of damage so any of the NPCs are now more dangerous. A small but cool mod if you're playing a Star Wars themed playthrough. Yesterday we saw better looking males, well today we have a mod that's pretty similar for this but for females. Maidens of Skyrim replaces female NPCs faces and bodies and redesigns about 15 different NPCs in game. They use standalone assets like the UNP body and textures, so you won't need to install any other texture packs or meshes with this mod. So the mod alters for the 50 different NPCs, the body and body textures, adds KS hairdo lights to most of the NPCs as well, adds new eyes, better eyebrows, mature skin options for older NPCs and they're definitely more wrinkly looking, includes the ethereal elven overhaul for all the elven females, new fangs and eyes for vampires, along with some other changes as well to make loads of the female NPCs in game look much better. Again guys, our next mod is a small one, but useful one, that I'm definitely going to get good use out of, and it's called Complete Skyforge. Do you find it annoying that the Skyforge just has the forge and none of the other blacksmith stuff as well? Well, this mod adds into the Skyforge and Whiterun, the remaining workstations and some extra ones as well. So you now get the Skyforge, Armor Workbench, Smelter, Tanning Rack, Alchemy and Enchanting Workbenches. Very useful I have to admit. Hopefully though the mod author makes the smelter full size again as there's plenty of space for it and it's kind of breaking my immersion here. Also the alchemy and enchanting stations are sinking but a small fix. Nonetheless I'm keeping these installed for convenience. Long ago a Nordic goat herder saw that when his charges ate strange red berries they became much more energetic and thus the tradition of coffee in Tamriel was born. Coffea plants are found throughout Skyrim particularly in high altitude climates. Berries can be eaten raw or roasted or brewed into a variety of delicious beverages with varying effects. What coffee do you get? Well, there's plain coffee, honeyed coffee, espresso, and a few other special ones for each class or style. Silver Tongue, Magnusian Sunbath, Yarrow Yaba, and Sotha's Secret. Almost all of these add a small increase to your movement speed, with the espresso being the most pronounced. So this mod has actually been in the work in progress section for as long as the game has been out practically, so it's nice to see it's finally here, even if it's not out yet for Xbox One. Our next mod is a simple mod to explain, but a huge mod in terms of size. You already know about KS Heritage Light, well now you get the KS Heritage full version, but at no small cost of 942 megabytes, so almost one gigabyte in size. The mod adds into Skyrim 298 new hairstyles for your human and elven characters. Now personally I like the hairstyles, but the mod itself is a bit pointless. Nobody's going to use 20% of their mod storage for one mod, especially since you can only equip one hair at a time. So hopefully I'd like to see this mod split into much smaller packs, like short hair, long hair, that kind of thing. An awesome mod to have in the game I admit. Very impractical for console users though with their limited storage space, although the hairs look awesome nonetheless. The final mod is a cool one that adds in a new player home, but it's kind of on its own dimension as well which is really awesome. Now for this mod I'm mostly going to explore the player home, but there are things to discover in the new world space. There's a shrine in Standing Stones, all of them in fact are here, a secret altar that requires a key, a merchant going around called Zom, and he's just a general trader and sells a bit of everything, you get your own mine, and some other stuff I will leave you to explore and discover the secrets on your own. The house is called Golgotha, and I have to say it's a really awesome one, it's a spooky looking manor, and I mean you get your own gargoyles as well on the outside so I'm sold. Inside you get all the stuff you need in a player home, a kitchen, a dining area, including cooking pot and oven, a study area, enchanting and alchemy stations, all with loads of ingredients books and other clutter making the house feel awesome. Now that's just the downstairs. On the upstairs you have this wicked looking bedroom. I love this and you get the bed but also loads of cool decor, like this entire area has a unique weapons and armour on display. There is a full smithing area with forge, tanning rack, smelter etc. And finally it has a large library. 
Now, I really like this house, but I suggest the mod author adds in a room for a follower or children somewhere, as it would be a shame to see lots of people not use the house for that specific reason alone, especially since so much effort has clearly went into making this place. Just a suggestion, either way the house and the new world space are both very well made though. Also, it's available for PS4 as well, which is a nice change to see, an actual awesome player home using only in-game assets. So an awesome mod. Well guys, there we have it, six brand new console mods for you to download if you like the look of them in the video. There were a lot of mods out today, and um, they were all kind of short ones, which is why these videos have not been very long. Tomorrow, the Tom Clancy Wildlands beta is out, so I'm not sure how videos are going to work for a while. We will just have to wait and see, I guess. But I will be back to making Skyrim mods soon. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's videos, like, comment, and subscribe. If I don't upload any Skyrim tomorrow, then I will probably see you guys the day after that. Until then though, stay awesome, and I will see you all next time.